Hello, it's March 13th. I'm looking today from Jerusalem. It's going to be important here. What I have to show. I have so much, so much. I don't even know where to, I don't even know where to begin. So let's take it one step at a time. This is for the hardcore. This is for the, those that are awakened and seen, are seeing the message here. What I provide, what I'm providing is I'm focused on the comet. I know there's a lot of videos now and about the eclipse and the revelation that people are getting everybody's getting a piece of a puzzle and i'll talk about that later try to paint this divine beautiful image together if i can if i could bring one piece of the puzzle to the table then i feel that i've done what i supposed to do this is the to me this is my mission from god after the near-death experience being brought back, after pleading not to be brought back, I can see why now, why I was brought back. Because my videos are raw. I'm heavily C-word and shadow B a lot. You counts are kept low, but they still keep me on, on the air for now. Bear with me. I'm learning just like everybody's learning. Everybody's getting dreams, visions, revelations. Insight is pouring. Remember the Schumann residence, that divine light from the galactic center or the center of the universe, the source of one. Okay, what are we looking at? Comet 12P is located over right here in Andromeda. It's heading towards Aries. Let's look at some data. Well, we know the core, the nucleus, is not 10 kilometers. That information is wrong. It's 30 kilometers. Or more. So that information is wrong. Found that out the other day. I got it in one of my videos. The other data that we have here is this right here. The coma diameter is now at 573,000 kilometers wide. And I'll do a comparison on that size, how big it is. We're talking the outer shell, like Comet 17P had, an outer shell. Um, we call it an outer shell. Okay, and the tail estimate is at 8.28 million kilometers so it's way over 6 million 7 million remember it only takes one remember all this data is gathered and put into this database they crunch the numbers you know only takes one you know like a one degree AI or, or 0 0.5 degree to lower keep that number low but 8.28 eight million kilometers and i'm just guessing right now i don't have my calculator i'm just going off my top of head it's over six million seven million miles in my opinion probably 10 in my book so what are we looking at now the comet is going to be heading in this direction in this direction towards aries why is this important and we got jupiter at the foot of aries and we got the moon in pisces so we have, a, we have a collection of planets lined up in this vicinity. Now I'm gonna be folk, I'm gonna be doing videos on Aries. Oh, I got another surge. It's becoming common. I'm gonna focus on an on Aries constellation. This right here. And this right here. And this right here. Because it's important. The message that I bring to the table, the message I'm bringing to the table connects connects uh you say it what's it he say um a piece of the puzzle to understand the beautiful divine message warning that we're getting and it's our duty for those that of the light to shine the light brighter than ever before ever before and excuse my language i'm a bilingual family from puerto rico I was born here in the united states served the military army long ago back in the 70s and 80s I bring a little experience to the table regarding comets. So bear with me. And I have to talk in codes too. I read between the lines too because some things I want to say you have to read between the lines. I can't say it out right. You know what I'm saying? Because a C word. Okay, that's where we have it. On March 31st, which is Easter, the comet, it's in Aries, near the star by the head, Haman. I might be pronouncing it wrong. In Hebrew, is Haman, Haman, in the head of Aries. And we have Jupiter moved from here to the other foot. So Jupiter is doing a retrograde, going back and forth, foot by foot. Oh, here's Uranus. 
I was wondering where you are. So it's entering on Easter Sunday, the Lamb, Aries. That's that's important. Remember, there's a total of 88 constellations in the night sky. 88. So we have it here. I can move it forward in the daytime. It'll be, let's move it forward a little bit. In the daytime, noon, it's right on it, right on that star, on the head of Aries on Easter Sunday. Why is this important? Let me, let me, let me try to make some sense out of this. There's a video here. It's, it explains everything about the constellation Aries. I'll put a link below. There's so much that I'm going to skip. I'm just going to, so much here that connects with what I'm going to be trying to present. According to this site, according to this, star names, the lords and meanings, back in written, in the reprinted, reprinted in 1963. It has a lot of information. See, a lot of information about the constellation Aries from the ancient past and a lot of the, there's so much reading here. And in a nutshell, let me put everything in a nutshell because I need to focus, focus, focus. This right here, remember we're talking March 31st and in the Gregorian calendar, some days we have March 30th being the last day of the of the March and March 31st. So it goes back and forth. But according to the Jewish Nisan, it's the beginning of the Nisan period with the, the Hebrew. And there's so much information here about the Nisan. I'm piecing this together. And there's ministers out there, pastors and people that study this, know this better than I do and can present it better than I am. I'm just a preliminary 101 investigator. There's there's a bunch of golden nuggets information in this here. It starts, okay, reading this, the year 2024, which is 5784, the door. And I made videos of that, the door. I can't pronounce some of these names. I just say Nissan for the Hebrew New Year is 5784. Begins at the sundown on Monday, April 8th and ends at nightfall on Tuesday, April 9th. Remember, Jerusalem is UT sign. It's a uh, what eight hours ahead. U UT sign Universal Time. The start of the month of Nisan on the Hebrew calendar is the first month of the Hebrew year. Has 30 days. Corresponds to March or April on the Gregorian calendar. Okay, why is the Nisan? If I'm pronouncing it wrong, forgive me, Lord. It, marks, it is marked by a birth of a new moon. I have a video at the time of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Let me pull it up. On this video right here that I posted about a, over a month ago, right here, I put down 1500 UTC time, which was 3 o'clock, universal. And, and this video here. To the moon and look back, you see, you see the earth coming between you and the sun. You can see the solar eclipse, the reverse. So I'm going to do something now that I think you'll find interesting. Now check, check this out. This is, uh, this is, uh, on the moon. this is major. You're standing on the moon, you're looking back towards the sun, to the earth. I want to show you now the moment it's passing. The moment. That's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. That's, That's the moment of Christ passing in the constellation Aries. So we're looking from the moon to the eclipse was the constellation Aries, three o'clock. That's no coincidence. And the comet, it's right above, it's in the head on this Easter Sunday. Exactly pinpoint on it. Aries, no. Right here. There's more on this video right here. And I think I got a link to that. Yep, right here. The Star of Bethlehem, 2007. Great, great information there. Okay, let's continue. Oh, before I go, let me just say right here. Okay. Okay, getting back. Okay, changing gears. I've been watching these videos right here. This one right here. This one right here. And this one. Okay, this site right here, I highly recommend highly recommend it he has a lot of information on the 20 um, on the eclipse fascinating it'll blow your mind but he's not alone now god god sends messages to chosen ones i mean it doesn't have to be somebody in the mega church i mean the, or those that just copy people's other information and they take credit and do it uh, he'll send it to the poorest place this lady right here is a chosen one 
if you check out her video, the pieces of puzzles that will fall into place. But she's not alone. It's a whole army of us out here now. And this video right here also has a lot of information that he gathered from other... He had to research team, so they're basically gathering up information from other people. I wish some people would give credit for those you know that that were provided information i mean we have to work together but this is the world we live in but there's a lot of key information on this one also so for those the eclipse all these puzzles i mean we're talking hundreds or more are coming together fast this is it in my in my opinion something is going to happen it might not happen on that day it might happen before it might happen today or, or, or it could happen after in, in, in May, June, or Ju June, in, in that time frame. Or it could happen in October when all those things come raining in and all those meteor showers and that big, the big comet shows up, A3, and so many other signs. October, it could be either now or it could be October. But all this is a warning. This eclipse, if you listen to all these videos, but I would start off with her. Okay, she just started out and she's crying and she's starting because you could tell she doesn't make that much video. She only has nine subscribers. Okay, but give her a thumbs up. Listen to this because the me hidden message is there. <laughs> praise God. Praise the Lord. So getting back to Nissan, let me get back to the Nis Nissan. Let me, while, while I'm talking, I'm going to put keep this up this is the latest just the latest that came came out came out to four hours ago jerry one of the best in the business top notch always follow his work okay this is the latest the, the tail is out of the frame <laughs> but getting back to nissan and the ministers and people of 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 god of jesus of religions could piece this together this is this is the vision that I'm getting. Nissan. When was Christ born and when did Christ die? What year? It happened during the time of Nissan. The Passover. There's information out there that, that somebody could put together and, and put all these this together. I don't have the time and energy to do the research on it. But since Christ was crucified uh, on Good Friday. I don't know why they call it Good Friday. Uh, on Friday, before Passover, because he had the Last Supper on Thursday, and that there was right. Be so there's a little confusion uh, that understanding that I don't know. Okay, and so maybe somebody could shine a light on that and and, and connect that with that because. It all connects. It's, 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 it sounds complicated, but it really, uh, reality is not. So this is what I have so far. Until next time, I'll keep you, uh, hope some of this made sense. Work together. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, put the notification on, because I'm going to be doing rapid fire on this, on this as the dates get closer. Okay, as of right now, we have 26 days, the total eclipse. That Those numbers, 12, 12, 12. It's no accident. So many numbers, so many signs, so many that your mind is just <laughs> blown away. And the thing is, there's more revelation being discovered. There's so many other people and just too bad. People just can't work, put the, the money stuff to the side because you're not going to be, you know, <laughs> when I when I had my experience, I didn't take nothing with me. Okay, until... Next time, Red Father out.